Okay, Sagittarius, let me just fix my camera a little bit. I think that's better. Today we are going to be doing your September 2018 Twin Flame Soulmate Love Reading. I just want to say before I start this video that um, I am doing a giveaway. So stay tuned to the end of the video for the giveaway. I also want to mention thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. It is just so incredible and amazing. And um, I'm going to be doing, of course, the September 2018 videos. I'm, I'm a Virgo sun and also I was born on the cusp of Virgo and Libra. So uh, yeah, very, very strange. I love September personally. Anyways, so um, Sagittarius. My mum is actually a Sagittarius sun sign. Now, if you are cross-watching, welcome. If you are wondering about your sun, moon, rising, and Venus, you can Google those and find out your signs. So just make sure you do check out your other signs, aside from just your sun sign, because you might find valuable messages within the other videos I have on my channel for this month, or even previous months. And I just want to say, um, if you are looking for a private reading, which is one just for you and your energy, and you know, to see what's happening between you and another person, or if you're single, what's going to happen, check out the description section of my video for private reading information. It's all in there, and if you're confused, just shoot me an email. We can talk about it. So, Let's see, Sagittarius, what messages we have coming out for you. The Hermit could be dealing with a Virgo. We've got the Five of Cups. I'm not sure exactly what's underneath the Five of Cups, but we will, we will see. Wow. Ten of Cups. Five to a ten. Literally doubled it. I just want to point out, in the first two cards, you can see here, this person is facing the same direction. First, they're doing some kind of inner, inner analyzing, right? Virgo is all about analyzing. This is, of course, part of Virgo season as well, being kind of analytical, but also kind of hiding away a little bit, trying to find themselves even. But then we also have this energy, which is kind of goes the opposite where it's about focusing sometimes on the negative and not necessarily always the positive because you're focusing here on the three cups spilled over and not the two behind you that are still standing upright. It really is about um, emotions as well. I feel like this is about emotional balance because here things are so, so unbalanced emotionally and then with the ten of cups everything is just so happy, 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 happy and very balanced still with the cups. Also have the Queen of Cups here, talking about emotional imbalance, the Queen of Cups is someone who's very vulnerable. She's the most vulnerable, I think, you know, King and Queen wise, out of the whole tarot. But she's powerful, she's still a Queen, and I think that's a beautiful lesson is that if you are emotionally unbalanced, Sagittarius, it may be a good idea to kind of maybe take time for yourself to reflect on that, rather than, you know, wallowing in self-pity and sadness and doubt and all of these things that drag you down, you know, do some form of self, um, you know, pick yourself back up. And, you know, try and garner the energy of the Queen of Cups because she's emotionally very, very vulnerable, but she's stable. That's the difference, you know, this person here is not stable. So that's just what the guides are giving me. You've got Death, which is ruled by Scorpio. And... This is about transitions and new beginnings. I feel like this could be inner work, inner healing that has to be done. And this is, you know, it's very strange to get messages like this because sometimes it may not even be to do with a relationship per se, but this is about you, Sagittarius. I really think this is about you emotionally balancing yourself, especially when death comes out with some very quite emotional cards. So this is about transitioning from the old to the new, you know, transitioning from this state to this state using your hermit power, Virgo season power, to get to the Queen of Cups energy. So I'm just taking a little water break <laughs> because my throat is absolutely, <coughs> excuse me, almost done.
Okay. So Scorpio, it's about transition, it's about working hard on yourself. I feel like the messages really are about you and yourself. Let's see what else comes up. <laughs> I say that and then you get the Six of Cups. It's about this idea of healing and working on yourself. You know, the star card is Aquarius, but it's about healing. And only when you heal can you allow this love to come in, this soulmate to come in, to make you feel complete. <coughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry about this. My throat is literally giving up on me as we're speaking. So... You can only really be, you know, we have to be complete. We're not half people. We are whole people. And that's this whole idea of healing. We have here the emperor. This is about someone who is emotionally not as invested. Very cold sometimes. But that's the balancing aspect. You have someone very vulnerable, but someone who can emotionally take themselves out of things. This is really about balancing yourself, is what I'm feeling, Sagittarius. And that's the main message coming out this month for you, is to emotionally balance yourself to allow the love to come in. So Sagittarius, that is your reading for this month. And the giveaway part. I have been making cards and you can give this to someone else, you can keep this for yourself, but all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and leave a comment in the comment section below if you'd like to win it. It's free. Um, and yeah, just leave a comment in the comment section below and at the end of the month I will be sending this out to someone and uh, it could be you. <laughs> so that's just a way to kind of say thank you for a thousand subscribers. I know it's like really random to just make a greeting card, but I just thought it's kind of fun. Kind of goes along with the whole theme of astrology and birthdays and that kind of thing. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, night, wherever you are. And I will see you very soon. Bye, Sagittarius.